What's up, guys? Ranger Liz here, coming at you from my computer, which means I am going to be showing you some scans as I look at them. It is for Ultraman today. Ultraman R slash B R and B R B. Who knows? Except, oh wait, we actually do have one. It is Rube, pronounced Rube. R U B E. Thanks, Yuki you, you Seed. Uh, Token Nation Special Form Twelve Mad Hunt. Uh, Erasure. Thanks, everybody, for getting all these together, getting the translations. I'm just going to give them to you in a pretty package because Lord knows I don't know Japanese. So let's get into it with the beginning one. I'm going to scoop myself over and get these up. What? Because those, those are what you want. Those are what you want right there. Let's take our first look at Ultraman Rube. Now, I have never watched an Ultraman series before. I know a little bit about it just simply because it's tokusatsu and I have friends that like it. So let's let's have some fun looking at this because it's going to be based on they're going to have powers from older seasons. It's like going in and watching Gokaiser. I've never watched Super Sentai. I'm sure you can really enjoy it, but you might get little extra nods if you know some previous stuff about what's going on with it. So there we have it. Two new Ultraman. We have Ultraman Rosso and Ultraman Blue. And guess what? They are brothers. All right, like the past two Ultraman series, Orb and Geed, uh, the Rube crystals that they're going to have are going to be elemental items that are associated to specific Ultraman. Rosso and Blue are going to use these crystals to transform. We have the Rube Gyro and the Rube Crystals. Now, it looks like Gyro to me, but I don't think that's how they're going to say it. But I am uh, I'm ready to be corrected for if anybody would like me uh, to tell me how exactly they do it. But look... At those forms, I am, I'm ready. I'm ready. They look so cool. So let's move on because I mentioned how they transform because of the crystal. Let's go ahead and look at that crystal right here. This is going to be, Rosso is going to be using the Taro crystal. It's fire, red, to transform into his default form. Rosso flames. Ultraman blue is going to be using the Ginga crystal, which is water, to transform into his default form. Blue Aqua. I like that. Blue blue Aqua. The Rube Crystals are going to be interchangeable and people are going to be able to get their own. So like Rosso is going to have an Aqua form. You're going to have, or I'm sorry, Rosso is going to have Aqua. Blue is going to have a Fire, uh, which is, it would be cool. So we're going to have the same base suits, but you see the different like, boop, boop. See those helms? That's how you're going to know who is who. Uh, other Rube Crystals are going to include the Tiga Crystal, which is going to be wind. Victory Crystal is going to be uh, earth. So that's how you're going to be getting all of those forms down there. But of course, even though it's going to be, you know, wind form for whatever, they have to use their own things to get it. As you see, the difference in those two, those aren't the same crystals. So you're going to have, if you want the fire form, you got to get both crystals of two different forms. They know. They know how they're going to get you. They know how they're going to get you. And here's another thing that's going to get you right there. And that is going to be stored. It's the Rube Crystals holder. Okay, uh, it's going to be reversible, which which is cool because if you just want to buy one, you can have it uh, represent Rosso. If you just want the red or blue, if you want the blue. But, of course, if you want to have both, you gotta, you got you to buy two so it can... It can go on both sides. Uh, it can hold up to four Rube crystals. Um, and how they're going to... Uh, Henshin It's going to be pretty awesome. They're just going to pick a Rube crystal in the holder, unfold it, load it into the center of the gyro, 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 stretch the handles to transform. It's the... And I'll show it to you. I'll show you the, I'll show you the Henshin device in a little later scan. But this is going to be the holders. So you're going to see them pop this out, pull out the crystal that way they want, so you know they can get moving. Next one, however, is this guy right here, and that's a big old weapon, so I'm going to make it, I'm going to make it a little bigger. I think that thing looks just freaking awesome. This, like, two hand, I'm, I'm psyched for it, I'm psyched for it. So what this is called, this is called a Rube Slugger. I think a Slugger, and I think of a baseball bat. First thing I want to do with that is just just take someone out. Sorry, I hit my mic. I'm sure that was all like, eh, with the sound. Uh, so they're going to have this Rube Slugger. It's a double-edged sword. It's going to be similar to Ultraman Zero Zero Twin Sword. It can be loaded, of course, with various Rube Crystals. It's going to be how it's going to be, you know, powered up doing its different attacks. Uh, 
and you know, okay, so I talked about the crystals. I talked about things you can put in the crystals. There's going to be a lot of crystals. I mean, every, you think every Rider series, you're going to do throwbacks to the previous ones with the current scheme. You're going to have, uh, I mean, look at it, but boom, look at a bunch of crystals that you're going to be able to get. And they're going to be releasing them in sets, like larger sets. These are going to be sets of about four or so. So think maybe like Ranger Keys, uh, if you were interested in collecting something like that. But you're going to get in sets like Ultraman, Ultramen, whatever, uh, Seven, Geed, Black King, some other words that I don't know because I don't follow Ultraman. I'm sorry. It, this, okay, so I'm going to throw this in there here now, though. I'm going to give the show a shot. I'm going to give a shot. I'm not saying I'm going to, like, watch it the day it's subbed and do reviews or anything on it, but I've talked about Ultraman enough over the last few weeks, months, I guess, at this point, that I'm actually pretty excited. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give this one a shot. And maybe you'll appreciate hearing, if you're an Ultraman fan, hearing from a complete noob about Ultraman what I think about this. So let's talk about villains, the main antagonist guys. This guy, right? Wah, wah. Uh, 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 that is going to be Ultraman Orb Dark. Dark Ultraman, he's going to be using the Orb Ring Neo and the Rube Gyro, Gyro, whatever. Guru Jabon, Rube Crystal. Hey, there we go, not that bad. Um, he can probably summon monsters, but I'm not really sure. His finisher move is going to be the Dark Origium. Ray, Origium, Origium. The thing that happens with the scans is that unless you properly know how to pronounce everything, you kind of sound like an idiot. Or at least I do, so have have patience with me, if you can. Uh, it's unknown, honestly, if he's just going to be an evil version of Ultraman Orb, or if he's just an entirely different character. Who knows at this point, and that could be, that could be awesome, but this is going to be his stuff, and I was, I was moving my mouse around it, like you guys can see my mouse, but... This big guy right here, he is the protagonist. But don't worry, don't worry, my friends. With this one comes this one. And this is how they're going to have the Orb Ring Neo. It's going to be used by Rosso in blue. It's going to be similar to theirs, of course, but it's just a different coloration. And I'm sure much more sounds. Uh, the toy version for them is going to include the Ultraman Orb Crystal. And, yeah, they're going to perform the Triple Origium Ray. That is going to be their finisher move. Uh, similar to Dark. Remember, Dark is going to be the Dark Origium Ray. It's going to be the Triple Origium Ray. I don't want Triple. I guess maybe them and them and who knows? It's it's a magic wand. Think like uh, Star vs. the Forces of Evil or Sailor Moon. Perhaps that's kind of the impression I was getting with both of those. And now that you have 14,000 Rube crystals, what are you going to do with them? You get yourself a collector's case, which is right there this collector case it is going to come with the ultraman zero beyond crystal once you get all 11 of these rube crystals gathered it's going to summon ultraman orb origin crystal that's probably going to be a really big power up i'm not even saying mid i don't know how long these last it could be a midway power up i'm not sure but you got to collect all those crystals if you want to get the big prize back to the beginning let's just i just want to talk really quick about the henshin device for you this you you put the crystal you take it you know out of the hole you pop it in the middle and then you and you kind of like and it looks like you pull it apart which is an interesting way to i don't know kind of like reminds me of a, like a i don't want to say a bop it or anything like that but i think it'll be an interesting way that you can get both some movement uh, i'm sure the coloration you know probably the colors are going to change it's going to have lots of different sounds who knows if they're going to have crystal power-ups that are eventually going to fit in it. But it's a, I, I like almost the simplicity of it, but I, I do like the theme of it. I think it'll be an interesting thing to do for a henshin device. And if y'all are yelling at me like, stop calling it. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I just really wanted to talk about these Ultraman scans. I think they're gorgeous. I really, I think, I mean, just the designs in general and the aesthetic of it and like i want to see the crystals um more 3d or 3d i like to see like how thick they are i can't wait to see how they they connect in it if there's like this you know i mean how many of you guys had a like a toy as a kid it had like the long it was like a pullback it had the long grippy thing it was like a car and you took off maybe it's just me i'm older than dirt i don't know 
Maybe it's just me. I'm going to wrap it up, guys, because I had a lot of fun going over these Ultraman scans with you, and I hope you enjoyed them. Also, Ultraman R slash B, pronounced Ultraman Rube, coming your way. I'll be giving you more information on it. As always, if not in its own videos, make sure to check out the Toku Week in Review. comes out every day, or every day. comes out every week on Friday, where I go over all of the newest Tokusatsu news. Join me then. My name is Ranger Liz. Thanks so much for joining me now. And I will see you at the next video, guys.